Hey there, friends. This is Brett Garner with the J. Harmon Home Team, powered by Keller Williams. I'm meeting today with uh, Richard Niel and Gary Evans from the Smyrna Lions Club. They're going to tell us a little bit about what the Smyrna Lions Club does. And uh, Richard is the incoming president. I think you were um, sworn in last week, right? Just, just installed, yeah, first of the uh, Lions year, July 1st. Okay. Well, I'm a Rotary Club member, and our installation for our new president, Mr. John Hinkle, was today. Uh, so anyway, we're going to get to know Richard a little bit, get to know the Smyrna Lions Club a little bit, and have a good time. So first off, Richard, you're not a local Smyrna guy, right? I am not. Uh, my wife and I moved here in late 2015 uh, from a community in uh, uh, Jackson, Mississippi, or uh, Clinton, Mississippi. Okay. Now, how deep in Mississippi is that? It's central Mississippi. Um, okay, so it's like Jackson, Mississippi, not shoreline Mississippi, right? That's correct. That's okay. Correct. <laughs> it's on Interstate 20 between uh, Jackson, Mississippi, and Vicksburg, if you know where that okay. is. Okay, awesome. Yeah, that's a good spot. Mm -hmm. So we were just talking about southern accents, and you know, I don't really notice mine, but I do say sometimes that I'm as country as cornbread. And uh, I just told Richard that he might be as southern as biscuits and gravy. Uh, <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so you don't hold our accents against us. We just uh, we love where we're from. Uh, so you moved here in 2015, and did you immediately plug into the Lions Club, or was there a little transition time? Uh, not immediately, but um, I uh, uh, met a couple of uh, guys in the area golfing. And okay. uh, from that, got invited into a dinner group, and that uh, my wife and I, and we uh, attended a dinner group, found out that several of the uh, dinner group members were Lions uh, members. I was a Lion in uh, Clinton, Mississippi. I joined in 1988, so uh, I was looking to transfer my membership when I got up here. And uh, after finding out that we had a couple of members, I attended the uh, Smyrna Club. Uh, with them, and uh, soon thereafter decided to do my transfer to the Smarter Club uh, in Lions. That's fantastic. Um, you know, I like to believe that service is something that's just born into people. Um, so for you to have been a member of a service organization since 1988, that's a big step, and it's important. Um, so when you relocate to a place like here, it was easy to plug in with the Lions Club, right? Because you knew it. Well, it was, especially with the Smyrna Club, because uh, when we, my wife and I attended, uh, we noticed that there was a, a, a exciting level of energy in the club. They were very involved in the community and Lions projects, and that excited us. And it wasn't much of a decision for us after we uh, saw that to decide to join. Well, that's great. That's a good story. I mean, uh, my dad been in the Lions Club, gosh, I don't, I don't know exactly how many years, but it feels like my entire life, and I'm almost 40. Uh, I couldn't tell you how many times he served as president, but, you know, Lions Club's been a part of our household for so long. Now, is this your first time to serve as a president, or did you serve as your previous club, too? Uh, I did once before in the previous club, but it had been probably 20 years ago. So, okay. Uh, uh, this would be uh, the first time in a while to come back in as president. All right, so a golf game turns into a dinner club, turns into back to Lions Club, which I'm sure you were going to go back anyway, but it made it a really simple transition uh, just to ease the transition to your new place to live, too. Uh, we have a lot of people that uh, are new to the area, and if you're looking for a great way to plug in and make it a little easier to call this home, um, a service organization is a great way to do that. Uh, Lions Club, Rotary Club, um, whatever your desire is, there's a club or committee or board out there that you can become a part of and serve the community uh, and it gives you a lot of buy-in into where you live. So uh, let's talk a little bit about what Lions Club does and then we'll talk specifically about the uh, Smyrna Club. So kind of give me an idea what the mission of Lions Club International is because it's it's not just in the United States not just North America it's all over the world right yeah, right. yeah. Uh, 
You know, like you said, the uh, Lions Club is global. It actually has the title Lions Club International. Um, the last count that I had heard is that there was like a million four hundred thousand members worldwide, and I've been told it's the world's largest civic organization. And I think that there are over two hundred countries that are involved with lionism. So. Um, it's like I said it's a, a large organization and they, they do good work okay so what is the the mission of Lions well our, our motto is we serve uh, okay. okay and our core project is site conservation and, and again how that uh, developed back in uh, 1917 when the Lions Club was formed in Chicago uh, at uh, a little bit later on in their early years, Helen Keller approached the president of the club and said, we'd like for your organization to get involved with it for site conservation. At that time, it was called Knights for the Blind. And then again, that evolved into the Lions Club International, which in turn took that on as a uh, global project. Okay. That's interesting. So, um, really about site conservation. That's the big mission right. statement, right? Exactly. Um, but I love that statement, we serve. Um, if you know the tagline that uh, Jonathan and myself, Taylor, and the rest of the team use, it's eager to serve. Uh, and that's just our business. Uh, we are eager to serve others. And serving others is a, um, it's a humbling experience sometimes. Um, it's a pleasurable experience, a rewarding experience. Uh, serving others is, is what makes stronger communities, uh, in my opinion. So, you know, tell me a little bit about the Smyrna Club. Um, how many members uh, and what current projects you have going on to fulfill the mission statement? I'll defer that to our president. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Currently, we, we have about 63 members on the roll. Okay. And uh, we have uh, completed in last year, the Lions year, 2018, 2019, uh, we had uh, approximately nine fundraisers and uh, over 20 different uh, state and community uh, programs that we supported through those fundraisers. Okay. Uh, uh, once again, like uh, Gary indicated, our, our core mission is primarily dealing with uh, uh, preventable uh, eye disease, uh, treatment of, and uh, supporting the services for the uh, uh, care and treatment of those diseases. Okay. Uh, we do uh, also some uh, support through uh, uh, diabetes uh, uh, prevention and awareness programs and the numerous uh, local uh, uh, programs here to support the small uh, uh, community. Okay. Now, fundraiser-wise, I mean, I know one of your big ones is the Sweetheart Dance. Uh, I think I've attended the Sweetheart Dance uh, all but one year in the last 14. Um, you also have the Bean Dinner, which comes around every other year. Is that correct? That's, right. uh, that's election years, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I know you do the program with the Boy Scouts for the pancake breakfast over at the Senior Center. Um, so what else do you do? You've got the golf tournament in the fall. We have a golf tournament. Uh, this year will be September 13th, Friday. Uh, and you can, you can have a team, right? You can sponsor a team or you can sponsor a hole. Sponsor a team or a hole or a combination of it. Um, if a local also, business wanted to do that, who would they reach out to? Oh, uh, myself uh, would be one for sure. Um, Gary would be another, and uh, there'll be uh, uh, several people that'll be involved in, in uh, organizing the fundraiser. We'll be putting flyers out and uh, information uh, as to the uh, date and time. Uh, the person right now that's chairperson of it is Robbie Castleberry. Okay. Well, I will make sure we've got some contact information in the comments at the bottom when we're done. But Okay, so other, other events you got We have on? one coming up uh, uh, tomorrow. The uh, uh, Lee Victory uh, Park has the uh, fireworks uh, July 4th event. We'll be at that event. Uh, the 
starting time is five o'clock fireworks um, I think shortly after nine and we'll be cooking hamburgers uh, hot dogs um, and uh, serving drinks um, all this uh, in support of uh, the uh, uh, event and uh, also the uh, programs we support through Lions. Okay, so if you want to sponsor a team in that golf tournament, you can come by tomorrow and probably talk to somebody oh, at the uh, fourth, uh, the Independence Day celebration. Um, okay, so what other ways can folks plug into the Lions Club? You've got, you don't have to be a full fledged member, right? You could be uh, an associate member of the organization with yes, yes. Um, lower dues requirement there. Yeah, we've got a, a couple of different status. We've got one. Uh, we have two meetings a month on the second and fourth Mondays of every month at the Seniors Activity Center. Uh, and again, that's regular membership where we provide them a meal and then we have a regular uh, business meeting one week and then the next week we have uh, basically just a, an update with regards to activities. But again, uh, we then have members that are not eating that can only uh, come on a need to have basis or availability or if they just want to participate in a project. So we, we were very flexible with regards to membership and their involvement. And again, it's, it's strictly a volunteer club. And one thing that we need to kind of highlight or point out is that when we're talking about these fundraisers, uh, it should be noted that every dollar that we raise on various fundraisers goes back to the community. There is no internal administration charges that we put into our club. Um, we handle that through what we call administrative uh, account and again that's for our dues and monies that we contribute. But again, any money that we raise on a, a project goes back dollar for dollar into a, a project throughout the community during the course of the year. That's a great point Gary. I mean there are so many uh, nonprofit and other charitable organizations that have kind of taken a bad light in recent years because we found out that they have these huge operating expenses um, and we learned that you know 20 cents 30 cents 40 cents of every dollar they raise go to these operating expenses um, but that's great that all of your local so, uh, raised dollars support the local community that's amazing um, so as a rotary member uh, one of the things we talked about today um, was our aging club and attracting new members. And this is a, a problem for service organizations everywhere. Um, is that something that the Smyrna Lions Club is dealing with? And what kind of ideas do you have to, to, to fight this? Uh, I shouldn't say fight, but to encourage people to come out and be a part of something bigger than just themselves. Well, uh, it is a problem, and uh, I'd, I'd say the average age of our uh, uh, member is probably in the 50-plus range right now. So it is an aging uh, club. We have been successful at drawing in uh, some young people, and uh, hopefully through uh, their involvement in the club and uh, perhaps putting the word out with uh, some of their friends, we will be more successful at drawing some younger people in. We try to be accommodating to schedules and not uh, not uh, creating problems for them, but uh, it is a uh, it is an issue that we're having to deal with, like so many other clubs. Well, so today, uh, our club president he told everybody to close their eyes, okay, and then he he said nobody peek. This is a an honor system thing, but I I'm the only one that's going to look. He said, I want uh, everybody in the room that has brought a guest to the club in the last six months to raise their hand. Um, I can tell you just from listening to the movement in the room, there weren't a lot of hands that got raised. So I think as service uh, members, we forget sometimes that it's also incumbent upon us as members of an organization to, to inspire people to come, to bring people to a meeting, uh, invite somebody from church, from work, from uh, that someone you meet at another event, like your Independence Day event, uh, inviting somebody to come, uh, you know, picking up their meal as a guest, 
and just having them come out and see if your organization is the right one to plug into. Uh, there are great organizations everywhere, and I, I know I've talked about this before. Uh, you can go to volunteerrutherfordtn.org and find all kinds of places to plug in. Uh, part of mine and Jonathan's mission, though, is to try to introduce you to other outlets, and Lions Club being one of those. Um, so tell me, how. what do you have to do to become a member? Uh, there's a membership form. you got to be sponsored by somebody. Uh, what's the process? Well, a little bit of both, okay. What we, what we try to do is have a potential member. Uh, we encourage them to attend two meetings to make sure that this is something that would fit their niche. And then at that point in time, we then uh, assign or have a sponsor with them. Now, normally what happens is somebody that has mentioned the Lions Club usually brings them. So for most of uh, the time, they're their sponsors. But again, uh, we encourage that. And once we basically get that member to sign up, which is uh, on a membership form process, shortly thereafter, when well, we have uh, basically installation into the club and uh, we the members vote on that uh, we then have an orientation program which is basically a one-on-one -on -one with them so they can get a flavor of what the inner work is out of the club not only from our level but from high levels such as a district or the state or the international so they can get kind of a global understanding what our club is all about Okay, and it's open to men and women, right? Uh, absolutely, you know, uh, we, we try to focus in on um, 18 and above uh, with uh, hopefully no cap on age. <laughs> <laughs> They're not going to kick you out or make you retire, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, there's no retirement age no, on service. No, I, I was in a, a many, many years ago, I was in with the, with the JC organization, and uh, once you reach the age of 35, you had to uh, go out. You were called an exhausted rooster. Okay. Uh, we just went old, <laughs> old lions. <laughs> we get exhausted, but we're still in the club. Uh, now, do y'all have an outreach program in, in like the high school level? Yes, absolutely. That's called the Leo Club. Leo, we are currently okay. involved with that with the Leo Club, and also we uh, touch base with the with the local Cub Scouts and Boy Scouts. And they get involved with some of our projects, so hopefully we'll see some future lions on that. Right. Okay. That's awesome. Now, uh, your Leo Club. Do you have one at Smyrna? Is there a Lions Club anymore in Laverne? No, there's not. They uh, okay. got defunct a couple of years ago. So, do y'all sponsor a Leo Club at Laverne High School? No, we've reached out to them, and then, and for some reason, we haven't been able to actually materialize that. Okay. Well. So you got some great outlets here, uh, some fun programs, and even if you don't want to become a member of the Lions Club, they have some fun events uh, that you can come be a part of. Uh, Valentine's, what better way to show your sweetheart that you love them than uh, a great meal, a little dancing, uh, some, some good fellowship, uh, and an opportunity maybe to bid on some silent auction items. Uh, if you like to play golf, get a get your favorite group together, sponsor a team, um, or if you got a business that would benefit from sponsoring a hole or uh, one of the longest drive or, or putting contest, something like that, you got an opportunity there. Uh, and hey, for all of our political friends out there in the world, bean dinner next year. Uh, you can go ahead and mark that on your calendar and get ready for it. We know you'll be there, but <laughs> go ahead and think about it. Uh, there's all kinds of fun ways to plug in uh, and support Lions Club without physically being a member. Um, if you're looking for an opportunity to serve in the community, I think this is a great way for you to do it. Uh, and if you're thinking about it, come out and see them tomorrow night at the uh, Independence Day celebration at the Lee Victory Park. They'll be set up and would love to talk to you about membership opportunities and ways to plug in. I hope all of you have a great afternoon. Do you guys have any questions for me or audience? You got any questions uh, for Richard or Gary here? Well, uh, you good? For this opportunity. Thank you for having us. We appreciate the opportunity. Hey, uh, we're glad to do it. They've already both been mugged. I did that off camera. 
so you didn't have to see that. Uh, they got their coffee mug, their pens, a bookmark, and, uh, and notepad. So, folks, uh, we would love for you to reach out to the Lions Club. Uh, if you got any questions or have any real estate needs, give me a shout out. Uh, if you'd like to buy, sell, or invest in real estate or know somebody that needs that assistance, uh, we'll be glad to help them too. Folks, have a great afternoon. Uh, look forward to seeing you next week. And have a safe fourth. We love you. Bye.